facility is nearby. Follow me. All right. You're the boss lady. They don't even look at the panels when they're like typing into them. Oh, this is definitely not going to be a battle area. Anything over here I'm missing? No. One sec, I, I missed something over here. Fuck. Uh, right here, Golden Starship. They even have this stupid ass platform. I was wondering where that was. But anyways, yeah, so back to your regularly scheduled uh, thing. I told you, I don't know anything about increasing the output of the Idril technology. And I told you not to get captured. Monroe, she betrayed us. She's a counter-spy. And you are a prisoner of the Empty Crown. Not the Romulan Empire? Our secret society will become greater than the Empire. Oh, fun. Ah, she kind of just, like, opened up on me. You know, I can, I can, can I see where she's walking? Give up the secrets of the Exomorphs and I'll let you live. I wish I had more weapons than this. Oh, she's up there now. Oh, we can just head up here really casually. Oh, I didn't even eat the, I didn't even eat the health. They seem really happy about me uh, fighting her. Where is she now? Nice weapon. Neutron energy disruptor. Very powerful. All right, well, I'm oh god. That <laughs> guy was just kind of like jiggling. Well, I gotta wait for this to recharge. You know, can't I use like the bio scan or something? I can't turn off an alert, unfortunately. Look out where. Oh, she's just down there. What the fuck is she gonna do? Oh, here she goes. Look out where. God, you guys are horrible. Knowing you wouldn't be captured unless she betrayed you. No problem. Now, let's get out of this frozen hellhole without saying goodbye. You must be Commander Sarlacc. This frozen hellhole is your new home, Lieutenant. Until we gain all your knowledge about speeding up the Exomorph creation process, we can learn it politely or painfully. But we will learn it. And the Romulans will learn about how your informant let us find the location of the Master Control Facility and kill a lot of Romulans. You mistake us for regular Romulans. We are not. We are the Order of the Empty Crown. And that was not incompetence. It was part of our plan. You let us kill your troops? Are you crazy? There's an old Romulan expression. Snapping two necks with one squeeze. Large body count. Helps us justify a massive Exomorph buildup. How? It will make key Romulan senators so afraid of a Federation first strike that they'll give the Empty Crown an endless supply of Exomorphs. They know the Federation would never strike first. But you did. You attacked us here unprovoked, as far as the Senate knows. And even our improved security failed to prevent it. The entire Romulan Star Empire will feel vulnerable again. Even paranoid. Willing to surrender some power to my Exomorphs. Huh. Create an artificial demand and then deliver a superfluous supply. 
Brilliant. Are you sure you're not a Ferengi? I have killed for lesser insults. My plan is purely Romulan. It's purely flawed. You let us find out where the Master Control Facility is. We fed you false coordinates. Prove it. As you wish. The coordinates we let you find lead to a system populated with cloaked mines. The minefield ensures that the false data will not escape, nor the ship, or her crew. Now that is purely Romulan. Of course. No, the real Master Control Facility is concealed deeper in the neutral zone. On a remote planet... Sir, I strongly recommend... Silence! We've jammed their transporters. They cannot leave. But... I suppose it's best not to reveal the real location. Take them away. Shoot them! Oh! How could they beam out? You told me you had jammed their transporters. Where's the Enterprise going? Do they do they even know that there's a minefield there? Whatever. All right. Well, you guys ready for the best secret ever? Oh, golden starship. <laughs> Here is Picard and uh, the Romulan commander playing uh, exomorph chess. Ah, uh, yeah. Best secret in the game. Yep. I, I want to play too, Picard. You can't talk to them, they're just literally the models. Hilarious though. Do love that secret though. Uh, I guess sick bay is this way? I I still have my, my, my Romulan tricorder. I need to get rid of that shit. Oh, you remove those surgical implants immediately. That's creepy how she's just looking at the fucking door. Okay. I got a normal tricorder now. Captain Picard is waiting for you in the observation lounge. Thank you, Ensign Fuckface. I want to talk to you. She's she's behind fucking like Oh, there we go. Welcome back, Munro. Oh god. I don't want to talk to you. I have howled to warn the dead. A great warrior has joined them. It was actually a pretty lame fight. You should have seen it. I mean, he didn't have to die. Where do I have to go? I gotta... I, oh, shit. I gotta meet with Picard. Deck one, bridge. I, I want to meet with the big P. The informant double-crossed us, and Ensign Gonzalez perished as a result. Ensign Gonzalez made his choice with full knowledge of the potential consequences. You can't blame yourself. He made the ultimate sacrifice for what will save the lives of countless others. Yes, sir. After analyzing the data pad that we recovered, we learned the location of the Master Control Facility. It's on the planet Tolichon 2. Bridge, set a course for Tolichon 2, maximum warp. Aye, sir. You've been in action since you arrived. I want you to take some time off at the earliest convenience. I can't expect my crew to work at maximum efficiency without an opportunity to unwind. Thank you, sir. I will. After Tolichon 2. Very well. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will be conducting a debriefing with you at 1800 hours. Yes, sir. And Lieutenant, good job down there. Dismissed. Thank you, sir. Alex, can you meet me in stellar cartography? Hi, Monroe. Can we talk? Oh. 
Oh, I have to. Oh, fucking moral choice. Gotta pick one. I'm gonna chuck with Picard. Really? Or is he? If he is, oh no, he's on the bridge. I'm going to contact Starfleet Command and inform them of our status. I'm going to contact Starfleet Command and inform them of our status. I'm going to contact Starfleet Damn it. Command. You have come a long way since your days on Voyager, Lieutenant. Oh wait. Uh, oh, let's go to Stellar Cartography. Deck eleven, Stellar Cartography. I want to meet with Cleo. Fuck tells you. A chell? Well, we finally figured out who's behind all this. God, you're such a douche. I hate to admit it, but I'm looking forward to the mission. These Romulans have a lot of deaths on their hands. We need to make this right. Well, we finally figured out who's behind all this. He just sounds so douchey. I just I fucking just want to punch him in the face. I heard about your friend. I'm so sorry. Thanks. If only I had been more skeptical of Crindo's motives, Ensign Gonzalez would not have died so unjustly. He was prepared to die for a just cause. His death is on my head. Even if that were true, you've more than made up for it by helping us stop the Exomorphs. All I wanted was to glorify my people above other races. That was a deadly mistake. We all make mistakes, Clea. But I'll make sure to help you correct this one. Ah, oh, she's clipping into my neck. How romantic. We have seen too many doomsday weapons, and too many warlike leaders eager to use them. But today we have a rare opportunity. The chance to destroy one. Clear? My people created the Exomorphs for easy labor, but soon realized they were the ultimate weapon. But doomsday weapons often turn on their masters. The Exomorphs exterminated 95% of the Idril people. The few survivors fell into a dark age without science or literacy. The Atrexians finally destroyed the Exomorphs and thought they'd destroyed the facilities. But the facilities repaired themselves and waited to be reactivated. In revenge, the Atrexians covered up the truth about the Idril people and used them for cheap labor. Just like the Idril used the Exomorphs. And just like the Exomorphs, the Idril turned on their masters when they reactivated the facilities. What was the weapon that the Exomorphs used to destroy the Idril? Intelligence. An Exomorph called the Archaeopendra gained full sentience and took control. The Master Control Facility is in the neutral zone. What about the Romulans? Best case, we destroy the facility quickly and leave undetected. Worst case? We convince the Romulans of the threat to both our people. They may not believe it. They think everyone's as devious as they are. Then we fight our way out of the neutral zone. Either way, we destroy the doomsday weapon. Mr. Tuvok? The hazard team will split into two groups. Ensign Murphy will shuttle her team to the far side of the Romulan stronghold. Her assault will divert attention from Lieutenant Monroe's team as they transport near the entrance to the Master Control facility. We expect heavy resistance from the renegade Romulan forces. We have modified your tricorders to allow you to call down orbital strikes from the Enterprise. Target an area, and the Enterprise will bombard it with phaser fire and quantum torpedoes. Use these strikes sparingly, as our torpedo supply is limited. If this mission fails, the Romulans will have a first strike weapon that can tip the balance of power in the Alpha Quadrant. Good luck. What an ugly looking planet. Enterprise, we are proceeding to the mission objective. Understood, Lieutenant. Talsia to Monroe. During our attack, we sustained heavy damage to our port nacelles from the anti-spacecraft batteries. Our power levels are fluctuating. 
Sydney feels she can compensate, but we don't know for how long. You've done all you can, Tusk. Get your team back to the Enterprise. Monroe out. Yeah, I've been hit. Yes. Give that man a promotion. Looks bad. We need to get you out of here. Enterprise, evacuate Chell. They will pay. That is my favorite Romulan. And he just, he literally just went away right after. Oh. So what do we have for weapons? No, no disruptor, staff. At least we have that. We have this Tetrion weapon. The iMod. Finally the sniper rifle. Grenade launcher. Quantum burst. Uh, the Romulan X-Rad. And then that's it. Let's start with this. Alright, let's uh, try the torpedo strikes. Ah, uh, so the entire thing is the structural integrity thing. Ow. It's kind of lame. Alright. There's another one. Yeah, Cor Corban, Corban, just go fucking deal with them. Here, I'm gonna. Fuck these guys. Corban, you're useless. Uh, actually, I can pretty much range them. Did I run up ammo for this already? No, I didn't. Apparently, I can snipe them. Alright, now look at this. Oh, what's behind here? Oh, my favorite! Iridium ammo, and it's the first secret. I'm probably gonna have to go and whatever to that thing as well. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, that's awesome! The Enterprise is beaming down supplies. Just in case that's what you wanted. Alright. Well, I don't- I guess we don't have much else here. Probably should be careful. Nobody cares about any- like, anyone but me. This is like the worst hazard team. Oh, look, and here's the X-Red weapon in case you, uh... Oh, hey there. Yeah, he just- he just doesn't give a fuck. I'm gonna let- I'm gonna let him have a good time. <laughs> Hazard team. <laughs> How much longer is this gonna go on for? <laughs> Hazard team, go. Oh, I got fucked. That's still really funny though. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of these motherfuckers. There we go, we got it. All right, let's 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 go see Corban Hazard team the fuck out of that again. All right, go over here. Oh, shucks. Can't do that. He's criticizing me, okay. But Ro, what are you doing? Anyways, we got that tower, so we're okay. We can of course call in more orbital strikes at our earliest convenience, but that's fine. Motherfuckers. Look at these guys. Superior Romulan tactics. They just they just go over there and start chucking stuff at me. Alright. Uh well, let's have a look around. Nah, I don't think anything's here. Oh, there's structural integrity. 
And this entire ta tower can go down. I can, I can just torpedo the fuck out of this. Why do I bother? This is so much more fun. Just let the Enterprise do this. That's a probably overkill. We don't need all these quantum torpedoes, you know. I like how two bucks are like, oh. Snipers! Take cover! Monroe, you fuck. Take cover. Maybe tomorrow, Corban. Today, you're going back to the Enterprise. Enterprise, Corban has been hit. Get him out of here. I refuse! Monroe! You can't stop us all. I mean, I could just counter snipe, so. I'll just eat these. And there's definitely something I missed over here. There, w there it would be. Okay, I knew it. The only question is now how the fuck do we get out without getting eaten by lava? Like that. Oh, awesome. So that's what that is. It's basically telling me. And go back to counter sniping. I mean, this is the only purpose this thing serves. For me, at least. I don't want to use that ammo quite yet. Alright, I'm pretty sure that there's this rock, these rocks conceal some sort of secret. Oh, in the lava I go. Oh, we can try that again. Why? It, there's an invisible wall there, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe I missed that, I'm so sorry. I oh, know I didn't miss that, he was smoking red. Where's the other sniper I saw? I don't know. Oh, there's your golden starship. I, that guy missed pretty badly, I have to say. There we go. Alright, we're good now. And... I don't know, I can probably call in another torpedo strike. You fucking piece of shit. Apparently my view was really shaking around, so he just kind of, uh, fucking wrecked me, basically. I was wondering where that asshole was. That doesn't- I don't think I got him. Whatever, I- I guess- he, I guess he hid, so I don't really have to care. Oh, that's a giant door. Oh. The little view thing tells me exactly- What the fuck? Fucking piece of shit. I, I- I know they're aiming at me, and then I miss it anyway, so... I have very low excuse- I'm very bad at sniper versus sniper. What can I say? <laughs> Oh look, another starship. I love starships. Starship Simulator 2004. Well, oh, this this doesn't look very good at all. 
Uh, we got a structural integrity thing here, so. Oh god. He's got a staff? That motherfucker. Only we can have that staff. You know, I'm just gonna... Nah, that's a waste of ammo. I'll staff them too. Actually, no, I'm gonna staff them, because fuck it. I'm not, I'm not even using that Iridium ammo, ammo even. Fuck, I missed him. God, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get mad here. Really? That's a, that has a drop? Okay, so note to self, when targeting torpedoes on an enemy, it's probably not a good idea to be standing directly in front of them. Okay, well he disintegrated. I wonder where I'm actually supposed to go. Wow, he didn't- How did he even get out of here? The fuck? Whatever. Uh, so, we gotta go and door panel this. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that, that's kind of important detail, you know? This is a cave. God, Enterprise, you are beaming these things in the most inconvenient places. Hey, look at that. Five bucks says that's a secret. Fifteen pesos, that is. Oh, we got more of this stuff. I also bet you that, yeah, they're, they're right here. Luckily, we don't have that shotgun. I hate that shotgun. Just use the staff of you know. I, I like. I really like this machine gun thing because it just melts in my close range. Although it's really fucking hard to see what the hell I'm doing. Somebody wants something over here. Oh, uh, well, we can try and jump over there, or not. What? You know, this game isn't quite as good as I remember it to be. Their pathfinding kind of blows ass. I'm looking around for a structural integrity. I certainly hope not. I saw your colleague before, and I can tell you for sure he is not the future of the Alpha Quadrant. And we're now running out of health. Probably should use something related to the energy. Wow. Thank you. Execute hazard maneuver Monroe Alpha 3. 